about to let y'all know how we rap the cowboys out here in the DMV. Hey. What's up guys, it's your boy John G and I'm back with another video, my wide receiver series and today we're going to touch on DJ Moore out of Maryland, 5'11", 215 pounds, uh, his projection in the 40 is about a 4.56 um, from what I can tell and you know I'm a big Maryland guy, everybody that knows me knows that Maryland basketball, Maryland football, I'm a big Maryland guy so uh, when I heard all of the hype about DJ Moore, because I mean, I haven't really watched too much Maryland football this year, to be honest. Um, I was very happy. The first thing that popped into my head was maybe it's another Stephon Diggs. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to go and check out his highlights first. That's what I normally do. I check out the highlights and then I watch game clip by clips against um, big level competition and, to, and formulate my own thoughts. So the things that I was able to pick up, uh, pros. Uh, he's very explosive like he's one of those type of guys that can take something from six yards and take it 60 just like he's doing right here uh, he's very quick he's pretty tough as he's shown so far uh, he plays with a pretty big chip on his shoulder um, uh, from what I see his, his pump return numbers are, are pretty solid um, he has big games against guys like uh, Texas um, U uh, University of Central Florida uh, North Western, Penn State, and you have an opportunity to see him against uh, top level talent. So what I wanted to pick out for you guys was I picked out a couple of games where you guys should get to see him in a breakout game against Northwestern right here. Uh, I, I, I sent a, um, a highlight in the Towson game. Um, what the, the other games that I picked, it was an inter intermediate game where he, was kind, he had some success with University of Central Florida, uh, which we're pulling up right here. And then we're gonna end with Ohio State, which is um, pretty much the benchmark of what I like to try and see what top level, what, what he does against top level talent. So you're seeing him here against um, University of Central Florida, who ended up being a, um, a pretty good football team. And um, he showed some flashes in this game right here. He's showing that with the innovative offensive coordinator, you can um, put him, move him around in different spots. Right here, he had the guy beating the quarterback. It's just not that good. Um, but the cons that I have on DJ Moore, really, uh, is that he's small in stature. Like, he's listed as 5'11", but he, I, I, I can't believe that he's 5'11". I'd probably say he's about 5'9", um, if I had to guess. Uh, he plays in a very limited offense. As you guys can see, it's a lot of screen, a lot of the same type of routes he's running over and over. Maybe that's because he's playing with a limited quarterback. Um, because I can I can tell you that quarterback isn't very good from, from the footage that I've watched. Um, one thing that I see, and you're sitting against Ohio State right now, is that he allows uh, DBs to beat into the spot. Um, he's an okay, he has an okay release, okay route runner, and for somebody that quick, I would expect a little bit more. Uh, he disappeared against bigger talent, as you're seeing right now. He's struggling against Ohio State, and um, doesn't appear nearly as effective on the outside as I would have liked. Uh, for me, uh, I wouldn't recommend taking him at 19 or at number 50 um, because I think that there will be bigger needs there, probably better receivers. But he is a solid talent, and I think in the right system, somebody could do some things for him. Uh, but Dallas isn't that system because we're not that innovative. But thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'm going to get to some more receivers, some more positions later on. and. Um, Peace.